Reflecting Christ, February 16th, Principles That Underlie the Law of God, Matthew 5, verse 3, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. In Christ's Sermon on the Mount, light and truth are given and principles laid down which apply to every condition of life and to every duty that God requires at our hands. Christ had come to magnify and make honorable the law that he himself had proclaimed from Mount Sinai to his chosen people during their wilderness wandering. In all his lessons, Christ sought to impress upon the minds and hearts of his hearers the principles which underlie his great standard of righteousness. He taught them that if they would keep God's commandments, love for God and for their fellow men must be manifested in their daily life. He sought to instill into their hearts the love he felt for humanity. Thus he sowed the seeds of truth, the fruits of which will produce a rich harvest of holiness and beauty of character. The holy influence will not only be far-reaching while time shall last, but its results will be felt throughout eternity. It will sanctify the actions and have a purifying influence wherever it exists. Seated upon the mount, surrounded by his disciples and a large gathering, Jesus opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. These are not murmurers and complainers, but those who are content with their condition and surroundings in life. They do not cherish the feeling that they deserve a better position than that which providence has assigned them, but manifest a spirit of gratitude for every favor bestowed upon them. Every proud thought and exalted feeling is banished. Those who are truly sanctified have a sense of their own weakness. Feeling their need, they will go for light and grace and strength to Jesus in whom all fullness dwells and who alone can supply their wants. Conscious of their own imperfections, they seek to become more like Christ and to live in accordance with the principles of his holy law. This continual sense of inefficiency will lead to such entire dependence upon God that his spirit will be exemplified in them. The treasures of heaven will be opened to supply the wants of every hungering, thirsting soul. All of this character have the assurance of one day beholding the glory of that kingdom, which as yet the imagination can only faintly grasp. The standard of the Christian is to keep before him is the purity and loveliness of Christ's character. Day by day, he may be putting on new beauties and reflecting to the world more and still more of the divine image. Hope you have a great day today. Reflect Christ.